RGL. Like, man, that's like a whole another story. I'm going to get into that in one second. But, like, like mostly, like, it's just business, man. You know what I mean? Like, business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is business, bro. So when you're doing something out here in these streets, bro, people got to understand. It's always business. It's never pleasure. Now, when you fall back and you do shit, certain shit, and then try to do it yourself, then it become pleasure. But everything be business. So when people do shit a certain type of way, like, say, for instance, all these people that's bosses, CEOs and shit like that, but they come from the streets. They come from the same ground, the same womb, shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. They came through the same ways we got here, bro. Right. It's just the only thing about it, they grind, they grind through their shit. You feel what I'm saying? And they got to where they need to get to, but you got to understand, they can't get to where they need to get to without no learning the codes of the streets. Right. I mean, you got to learn how to hustle. What hustling come from? Like, for real. Like, what hustling come from? Like, for real. Hustling. Like, for nothing. What all that shit? They come from the fucking streets, bro. So those right. people learn that. So if they have to take it in a business matter when they get to certain shit and dealing with certain people. Like when I uh, start uh, dealing with RGF, you know what I'm saying? My style, my music changed a certain type of way. And then like certain little things I started doing, you know what I'm saying, a certain type of way because I was just out here a wild motherfucker, didn't know certain shit I want to do, didn't know my lane. I had to really sit back and understand the game and how this shit goes, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and the crazy part, how I linked up with them, bro, because you know, I got a lot of ties in the streets and I, and I follow the code how my brother, uh, brother the Prince moved and how he did this thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And shout out to Seuss Leroy, man. Seuss Leroy, Seuss Leroy was, man, he, he, he's bumping, man. Like, he's still doing his thing right now, but the time period I was working with Seuss, I shot my first video ever, man, that arose. You know what I mean? Right. And that motherfucker was so nasty. He, like, he, it wasn't a whole picture that I wanted, it was just the song, the video, and Seuss put that motherfucker together, made that first video for me and brought it to life, bro, that got the attention of the CEO from RGF with the two Gs, you feel what I'm saying? Right. And end up, uh, and end up uh, getting up with my producer, G-Fool, G-Fool Beats, end up getting up with G-Fool Beats for a beat. And uh, like a couple of months later, nigga, it actually... Uh, shout out to homie G-Fool, G -Fool too, man. Hey, man, shout out my nigga G-Fool, man, real nigga shit, man. That's a I'm good dude, too, man. 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 I know dude in real life, that's a good dude, bro. Man, that's a blessing. I, I ain't gonna lie, dude is definitely a good dude, homie. Real nigga shit. That's a 100 brother, man. Yeah. Shout out that nigga. Fuck with the cold and on the more cold and that shit going crazy, man. Appreciate yeah. your morals over riches, man. But yeah, man, I, um, I uh, most definitely uh, reached out to them, man, after the, um, I seen the video go up on YouTube called Money Dance. It was for 2Gs, which is actually the CEO of RGF. They had Fetty, uh, Fetty Wap in the uh, video and they had Mr. Grit. Okay. So I'm like, man, I'm like, man, okay, they got two of the CEOs in this video. <laughs> they got in this video. And I'm like, damn, this, this is a chief old me. Right. Um, at this time, at this time, I was in the beginning of my career. So with that being said, in the beginning of my career, I was like, oh, wow, man. This shit crazy. Why the fuck I never sat back and seen this? At the beginning of my career, and I remind you, when I did this shit on Seuss, uh, uh, this shot this video was in April. Around my birthday, April 19th. I did this shit with Seuss, man. We shot this motherfucker video, man. So the video been out for at least about a good two months. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And I had for me to sit back and be like, damn, I never was paying attention who commented on my video. I never paid attention who liked it or what was going on. Right. Like that. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, this nigga G4 got these people there. At that time, niggas were from Chicago. I don't know who the fuck Fetty Wap is. All I just kept hearing my way on the radio, I kept changing the motherfuckers. Right. Uh, 
around a couple of people, you know what I'm saying? So, so I went to us, you know, we chopped it up, we doing things, I'm working, I'm doing things, we working, you know what I'm saying? And my father finally got that call, you know what I'm saying? And when we got that call, you know what I did? I spin battle. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? I spin battle. I really took that ride. You know what I'm saying? Right. And now I've been, uh, uh, well, this makes like four months now. But then four months that I, uh, that I signed the RGL, it was actually back in, uh, what was that, June? Back in June, June. You know what I mean? And right now I got a big song called Knit the Grit. I was actually featuring one of the artists on um, RGL. Uh, my nigga Vet. Shout out my nigga Vet. You know what I'm saying? The song is actually about two Gs. It's about Mr. the Grit. It's about Fetty Wap. It's a subliminal song, basically a metaphorical song. But a lot of people, they love music. They love bars. They get it. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm going to have a video coming real soon. Uh, basically for that, it's going to have Nick the Grit, two Gs, and Fetty Wap in that video. Uh -huh. It's going to shoot that in Germany. Okay. So look out for that. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, yeah, man. But yeah, I've just been working. Like right now, my biggest thing right now, I'm working on uh, some international shit. Uh, uh, one of my artists down in Jamaica, his name Damien Smith. He got a song on the radio down there in Jamaica it's called Ravens Party. Shout out the whole people, the whole Jamaican people, everybody, man. I fuck with y'all. Shout out all the rockers, man. Uh -huh. Hey, that shit gonna go crazy, man. Y'all better look out for that. That's gonna go crazy, man. Bro, I mean, that sounds like a good move there. Hell yeah, man. Like, man, so, you know, like, I got my, my plate full right now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little skinny nigga, man. I went about <laughs> 35, man. You know what I'm saying? So I eat a lot. You know what I'm saying? I smoke a lot of weed, so I eat a lot. So my plate stays full. I don't put my ass, my hands in my basket. I put them bitches everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm you know rocking I mean? with it. And let something hatch and let something go crazy. You feel me? Man, I'm rocking with it, big bro. The people want to get out with you, bandana. Where can they find you? Let us know them social media sites. Man, tell her you already know, man. Look at here, they can find me at RGF Bandana Rose on Twitter, man. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on there. Hey, my SoundCloud the same way, RGF uh, Rose. Uh, but I got uh, Instagram, Bandana Rose. They can find me there. Snapchat, Bandana Rose, RGF. You know, man, anything you want to just Google me, man. Google me, Bandana Rose. Everything going to pop up what you need to find about your boy. Music, videos, everything is Bandana Rose. Uh, you know what I mean? You got a YouTube channel? That's hot too. Most definitely, bro. Appreciate you letting me chop it up with you, big guy.